I will lose. <laughs> I feel super awkward. I look awkward. I am awkward. But just wanted to introduce ourselves. Like I said, this is Two Itchy Feet. Obviously, we are Catherine and Stephen. Hello. I'm Catherine, that's Stephen. We've been together for 15 years now. Well, 15 years. Too this long. Year. Too in, long, basically. In May. Yep, too long. Married for three. Yep. Uh, I think we were engaged for five years. Yep. I strung um, it out as long as I could. <laughs> but I got an ultimate so I had to get it done, so there we go. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is Two Itchy Feet, and we went travelling ages ago. If you look at our channel, you can see a brief explanation there, but we went travelling in 2012 Twelve, yeah. um, for 10 months, and we went to all sorts of different places. Um, the majority of the time was spent in New Zealand. Oh, that's a dream. Um, okay. And uh, we came back. We didn't really document anything, did we? Like, in no, terms of filming and stuff. Uh, we weren't really savvy in that respect at that time. No, we so. weren't into YouTube or anything like that, so we missed out on that side of it, which is a shame because we went to some amazing places, really. So, yeah. But, hey, oh, there you go. There you go. We took loads of pictures, thousands of pictures, but nothing, no videos, really. Um, so now that we're back and we've been back for about eight years now mm. we've sort of just, just decided now to start just documenting start wherever we go it. and we've been to some even in the uk and been cornwall isle of sky you name it we've probably been to it um but yeah we're a bit rubbish in filming it so we're going to start documenting it now and this is the first place of 2022 yeah in a place called langho in clitheroe and we're in the shepherd's hut and so you'll be able to see some clips from it in a bit. And it's just a one night stay. We just wanted to get away for a quick night away. And obviously just to get in some nice relaxing surroundings. So obviously we'll show you some uh, videos later. But yeah. all around us is just a working farm. So it's nice and chill and it's relaxing. You can see the cows, the sheep. You can see the mountains in the background. It's it's a lovely little spot really. So yeah. if you enjoy, you're going to go into Clitheroe. Have a look at the market turn in Clitheroe, which we'll show you later. And yeah, and just uh, if you like it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and you can keep an eye out for our future videos. See you in a bit. Cut. Cut! Well, this is it. This is a shepherd's hut in the middle of Clitheroe. We're at a place called Langho. It's actually on a working farm. Um, absolutely lovely surroundings. Carrying all the bags. Catherine didn't bug at all as usual. <laughs> oh look. We have some flames going. Someone's left the fire on. <laughs> Let's go round. Look at that view. And here we are, the shepherd's hut. Let's go inside. <laughs> this is the inside. Nice relaxing music. There for us. 
Huh? Double that? That's an eye. Bathroom? Lovely shower. I think it's time for a blue. How do you feel about going to Clitheroe? I don't know. I think I'd rather be up beach. Hi, you all right? Pidgeos in here. This is Clitheroe Castle. It's a ruined early medieval castle in Clitheroe. Um, and it's a vast estate stretching along the western side of the Pennines. It was built in the 12th century for the de Lacey family. The keep as well is one of the smallest surviving stone built keeps in England. And it was actually listed as a scheduled monument on the 10th of April, 1915. And it was a grade one listed on the 19th of May, 1950. So pretty old. Here we are now, stood at the top of Clitheroe Castle. As you can see, it's an absolutely amazing day. Lovely and clear. Nice and fresh as well, but it's absolutely beautiful up here. You can't beat views like that. Welcome to Clitheroe. So I'm not sure if the camera you can pick this up or not, but in the distance you can see a big hill. That is uh, Pendle Hill. Obviously from here it looks tiny, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot bigger up close. I think Pendle Hill is the site um, 
I think if you look into it, it's to do with the um, Pendle Witches, uh, where I think quite a few women were tried and and killed um, because they were thought to be witches. I'm sure it is. Couple of bodies on floor and that leave here. This is a bit weird, isn't it? A bit eerie. We we'll get our head down here tonight. This is where we're camping tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Good view from the inside, though. That's what she said. Stephen and I were just saying that you just really don't know what's on your own doorstep. Like this, we've never come to Clitheroe before. We've been in a hotel called the Duncan Elsh a couple of times in Clitheroe, but we've never actually ventured into the centre. And it's absolutely lovely, lovely. And we've always got lucky with the weather, haven't we? Yeah, we always do seem to bring the weather with us. So if and anyone wants to invite us anywhere else, let us know. <laughs> and this lovely park, gorgeous. Okay, so it's the end of the day now in Clitheroe, but the day's not over yet. So we're going to go back to the Shepherd's Hut, crack open the beer, and order a curry. And uh, what were you saying? Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. Peace out. And this is what we woke up to this morning. Just some cows going for a walk. <laughs> 